Okay guys, so we've got our probe made up. So let me show you how it connects and I'll uh, show you how you find a signal inside a circuit with this. So, we use an old iPad. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up a song or whatnot, run it out and into the input of the pedal. So let's start with that. We're gonna need the adapter just to get it up to quarter inch. And this is gonna go to the input of your pedal or the input of your amp. This, so what this is doing is driving a signal in through the circuit so we can trace it. I have one of these quarter inch jacks with just nothing on it here. It just gives a nice convenient way to connect on with the testers. So we'll plug that into the out The next step is we'll take the quarter inch end of our tester and plug it to the input of a guitar amp or any amplifier that receives a guitar or line level signal. And the other end of the probe, the ground, if I was working on a guitar amp, I would put it right to chassis because most things will ground a chassis in a guitar amp. But in this case, we'll hook it to the negative terminal on the output. That should give us a good ground within the circuit. Now we're ready to probe around. So once I get this going, we should be able to touch on this point where the positive signal is coming through the circuit. And what this does is that say I encounter nine volts or in a tube amp, I encounter 400 volts. This capacitor prevents that 400 volts or nine volts from going back and totally frying your guitar amp or whatever you're using for a tester. So this is just blocking DC voltage. So whether it's nine volt DC in a pedal or 15 volts in a solid state amp, or it could be 400 volts in a tube amplifier. So it's just a level, level of protection and a nice convenient way to trace a signal out. So let's give it a shot. First thing we'll do is we'll turn this amplifier on, give it a little bit of volume. You can hear that background sound. The probe will pick up noise and stuff like that. we we'll just make sure it's working, which it is. I'll turn that down a little bit. So now on our iPad, let's turn down the volume on this pedal. Turn all the controls to zero. Okay, so we found ourselves a little backing track, so let's get that going. If we unplug this, we should have a sound. Which we do. We'll turn that off, so we'll plug in this quarter inch. And play the song. Now let's just give ourselves Turn everything up to halfway here. Turn the circuit on. Now it's going, so we should be able to find it on this output, on the positive, if the pedal works great. So let's try that. Turn that down just a bit. So there it is on the output. We could find it on the input. find it on a ground. So now that this circuit is on, you should be able to find it in different points in the circuit. So see you can take you can take a schematic and start from the input and just follow along with the schematic and you follow along from the input out through to the output until you find the problem and then that's where you can start looking for what's going on inside an amplifier. 
So I thought that'd be kind of cool to show you guys how that works and uh, hopefully coming up here soon I'll have a video using this detecting a problem in a PV amplifier that I've got on the bench here so until next time have a good one